Hi my friends and welcome to our classroom. Today we're going to be doing a math lesson. We're going to be adding numbers but we're going to use the strategy called counting on. When we count on it's usually because the numbers we're using are really big and we don't have that many fingers. So this is going to be a really cool and easy way for you to keep on adding even if we don't have that many fingers to use. Watch this. All right, before we do any adding, we have to read what this number sentence says. Remember, when we read, we read from left to right, and we point to each number and symbol that is in the number sentence, like this. Four plus three equals. Now that we've read it, Let's review some different ways I've already taught you on how to add. If you didn't watch that video, I'm gonna leave the link below in the description of this video. One way I've taught you on how to add is by using your fingers. So if we have four plus three, the easiest way to do that is putting up four fingers on one hand and three on the other. This hand means this number and this hand means this number. So now all you have to do is add up all of the fingers that are up. So let's do that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer to this number sentence is seven. The second way I've taught on how to add is by using your marker and drawing circles. This is what you do. If I have the number four on this side, I have to draw four circles underneath. They look like this. One, two, three, four. Now, how many circles am I gonna need to draw under here? Right, three circles under the number three, like this. One, two, three. Now that I've drawn all the circles, the next thing we have to do is cross them out as we count. Let's do that together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the number still stays as seven for the answer. Now the last way I've taught you how to add is by using manipulatives. Manipulatives can be anything that you can grab with your fingers, like counting bears, flowers, rocks, spoons, whatever you have around your house. I have counting vehicles. So if I have four over here, how many counting vehicles will I need to put on this side? Right, I gotta put four. So I have a school bus, A boat, a train, and a fire truck. Those are my four vehicles for the number four. So now I have to put three vehicles under the number three. I have another school bus. a train, and an airplane. Oops, so the airplane stays. Yep, you understand? Good. So now we just point to each manipulative and count to see how many there are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The answer is still seven. Good job. So now that we've reviewed those ways to add, I'm gonna show you how we're going to do the strategy counting on. Okay, so I've taken off the manipulatives and we're gonna try the strategy counting on. Now I'm gonna keep the same number sentence that we are working with to show you what that next strategy is. Now, the number sentence says four plus three equals. 
When we count on, we have to know our numbers very well. We're going to start right here with the number 4. What number comes after 4? Right, 5. So what we do is we hold on to number 4 and we only put up 3 fingers, like this. Now the trick is you have to remember what comes after 4 because that's the number we're going to start off with. Watch. So 4 plus 3 equals. I've got 4 in my head. The next number is 5. So how I'm going to count on is 5, 6, 7. Easy. Counting on really helps when you have big numbers. Because 4 plus 3 are small numbers and you can use your hands, I wouldn't recommend counting on as the strategy. So I'm going to give you a tougher one. Are you ready for the challenge? I don't know. Let's see. Here's another one. Here's a new number sentence. Remember, first we read the number sentence before we do any adding. We start from left to right and point to each number and symbol as you read. Watch. Seven plus eight equals. Very good. So, if we were to try a different strategy, like putting up your fingers, let's see if that would work. Put up seven fingers. Alright, I could do that. The next number is eight. Can you put up eight more fingers? Uh-oh. I ran out of fingers. This is where counting on would be a good strategy to use. Watch. Let's start with seven. Seven. Hmm, what number comes after seven? Do you know? What number comes after seven? If you forget, that's fine. Let's go ahead and count in our head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight comes after seven. Now remember, that's the number we have to remember because that's where we're gonna start counting. So let's go ahead and put eight fingers up. I like to put four and four because it's even. All right, I have my eight fingers up. Now remember, when we count on, we're not starting with number one. We have to start with the number that comes after seven. What was that number again? Eight. So it would look like this. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oof, that's a big number. 15. Let's go ahead and read this number sentence together. Grab your pointing finger, and remember we start on the left. Seven plus eight equals 15. Counting on worked well because I don't have 15 fingers. That would be really, really hard for me to do if I used my fingers. Let's try another one. Here's a new number sentence. Let's read it together. Remember, we go left to right and we point at each number and symbol as we read them. Ready? Five plus six equals. So, let's see if I can use my hands. Go ahead and put up five fingers. That was easy. I could do that. Now, add six more fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. I ran out of fingers. Let's try the counting on strategy. We've got the number five here. Now, what number comes after five? Remember, it's okay if you can't remember right now. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six comes after five. Now remember, that's the number we've got to remember. Let's go ahead and put up our six fingers for this number in our number sentence. Now, what was the number we had to remember? Do we start with number one? No. We're going to start with the number six that's the number that comes after five. 
So it's gonna look like this. Let's count on. And six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. The answer to this number sentence is 11. Let's read the number sentence now that we figured it out. Ready? Five plus six equals 11. Good job. All right. Now that we're kind of getting the hang of it, I'm gonna give you one more problem to solve. Here it is. Okay, here's the last problem we're gonna figure out together. Let's read the number sentence before we even think about adding. Ready? Grab your finger, and remember we read left to right, and we point to each number and symbol as we say them. Ready? Four plus eight equals. Let's see if I can use my hands for this. Go ahead and put up four fingers. Simple. Now, put up eight more fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, I ran out of fingers. That's where counting on begins. Now, we've got the number four. Now, what number comes after four? Did you say five? Way to go, that's right. And if you didn't know that, you can always remember to count. One, two, three, four, five. Five comes after four. So five is the number we have to remember because now we have to count on from there. So let's go ahead and put up eight fingers. Remember, I like to put up eight fingers like this because it's easier like that. You can put it up like this if you want. I like this. All right, so what was the number that we had to remember because that's where we're gonna start from. Is it one? Do we start counting from one? Not in the counting on strategy. We're gonna start with the number that comes after four, which is five. Let's do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. The answer to this problem is 12. Let's go ahead and read the number sentence together. Four plus eight equals 12. Way to go. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, muy bien, muy bien. I'm proud of you guys. You just learned a new strategy called counting on. Now remember, this could work for any addition problem and there probably are easier ways to add, but I'm just gonna give you another tool you can use so that you can add big numbers. All right, my friends, I miss you, I love you, and as always, I wish you well. I'll see you in the next video.